Good morning, good morning, good morning, and praise be to God, praise the Lord, and welcome to the morning Bible reading with Victoria Cherie. Praise the Lord, you guys. So, um, we're going to continue in the book of Genesis, and this morning we're going to be in uh, chapter 10, where it speaks about the generations of um, Noah, the sons of Noah, I will say that. Praise the Lord. And Father, we plead the blood of Jesus over this live audio, and we plead the blood of Jesus over every listener. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord, you guys. Now, these are the generations of the sons of Noah, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, and unto them were sons born after the flood. The sons of Japheth, Gomer, and Magog, and Medea, and Javan, and Tubal, and Meshach, and Tyrus. And the sons of Gomer, Ashkenaz, and Repheth, and Togama. And the sons of Javan, Elisha, and Tarshish, Ketem, and Dodenim. By these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands. Every one after his tongue, after their families, and their nations. And the sons of Ham, Cush, and Mizram, and Phut, and Canaan. And the sons of Cush, Seba, and Ovila, and Sapta, and Ramah, and Sapchika. And the sons of Ramah, Sheba, and Dedan. And Cush begat Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one in the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Wherefore it is said, even as Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. Verse 10. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel, and Erech, and Akkad, and Kalna, in the land of Shinar. Out of that land went forth Asher, and builded Nineveh, and the city, and the city Rehoboth, and Kala. And reason between Nineveh and Kala, the same is a great city. And Mizraim begat Ludim, and Anamim, and Lehebim, and Naphtahim, and Pathrasim, and Kasilim, out of whom came Philistim, and Capitrim. And Canaan begat Sidon, his firstborn. And the Jebusite, and the Amorite, and the Gergesite, and the Hivite, and the Archite, and the Sinite, and the Arvidite, and the Zimmerite, and the Hamathite, and afterward were the families of the Canaanites spread abroad. And the border began from Sidon, as thou comest to Gerar unto Gaza, as thou goest. As thou goest unto Sodom and Gomorrah, and Enma, and Zeboim, even unto Lasha. These are the sons of Ham, after their families, after their tongues, in their countries, and in their nations. Unto Shem, also the father of all the children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder, even to him were children born. The children of Shem, Elam, and Asher, and Arphaxad, Arphaxad, and Lud, and Aram, and the children of Aram, Uz, and Hul, and Gether, and Mash. And Arphaxad begat Selah, and Salah begat Eber, and unto Eber were born two sons. The name of one was Pelig, for in his days was the earth divided, and his brother's name was Joktan. And Joktan begat Alamudad and Shaleph, and Azarimaphith, and Jeram, and Hadaram, and Uzal, and Dikla, and Obal, and Abimliel, and Sheba, and Ophir, and Ahavila, and Jobab. All these were the sons of Joktan, and their dwelling was from Mesha, as thou goest unto Sephar, a mount of the east. These are the sons of Shem, after their families, after their tongues, and their lands, after their nations. These are the families of sons of the sons of Noah, after the generations 
in their nations, and by these were the nations divided in the earth after the flood. And the word of the Lord is blessed on this morning. Praise be to God. Uh, this is the genealogy, the flow of the sons of Noah. And it's very important for us. I know a lot of times I've, <laughs> I know people skip over, um, Lord Jesus, these genealogies because of these words and these names. But the importance, just like the importance of, of you knowing where you came from, um, as far as in your family, you know, um, who was your great, great grandfather, you know, and, um, it's very important for us to know the genealogy and to know our lineage, um, to see how things add up and how we all, you know, all of them came from Noah. Praise the Lord. And, um, if you start to think about how deep it runs, you know, you can be a parent right now and then you may have children and, And prayer is very important for us, not to just pray for, you know, the foundations for right now, but it's very important for us to pray for our future lineage, you know, for our children's children, 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 children. Um, That is like one of the solid things that I um, remember as a child hearing, you know, great grandmothers, you know, praying for their families and going forth in deep prayer, covering um, because, you know, this thing that sometimes even dealing with, um, generational things, generational cycles, you know, we have to pray for these things in advance, you know, so that the enemy to keep the enemy, you know, at bay, you know, keep him up under our feet where he belongs. And so it's very important for us to pray for our families and our lineage, uh, because we do not know the things that have attached itself, you know, through the years, through decades. Praise the Lord. Um, so I thank God for helping me to get through this and to gain a little bit more knowledge um, about the sons of Noah. And um, and they spoke about all of this happened after the flood, after Noah, you know, obeyed God and began to multiply Um you know, in his own family, his sons and his son's wives. And this is what was, you know, um, this was what has happened, you know, and this is, is the, um, the multiplication, I will call it, um, of the lineage that had happened in this build an entire, um, family. And so I praise God for that. Um, it's a beautiful thing. And I know, um, sometimes we kind of want to just skip over that part um, and then get to, you know, the storyline. But that is the part of the storyline. You know, it starts to make sense once you start to understand who was who and who came from who. And, you know, um, you know, whose father was who and, you know, whose children belong to who. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So I thank God on this morning. Um, I pray that we all begin to know you know, the in-depth part of God. And, you know, with God, it's something new every day. You know, we're learning something every day about our Father in heaven. And he, the most important thing that I pull away from everything is that God loves me. God loves you. And he's ever, he's always teaching us something. And he it's because he does not want us to stay where we are. He always wants us to be better. He always wants us to go forth in him, trusting him even more in everything that we go for and that um, we should always inquire of him, you know, in our next move, but that we continue to stay before him, seeking him with our whole heart in Jesus name. So God bless you guys. And like I say, every day, I would like to encourage you all to get in your word, read, you know, a chapter or read a scripture or two, whatever, you know, the Lord lays on your heart to do, but begin to develop your own personal relationship with the Lord and begin to speak with him. And if you do not understand something, you know, continue to seek God in that understanding and ask him to give you more wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of his word. And he will do just that. You just have to continue to seek him in Jesus name. Praise the Lord. So I invite you all to come and listen to the word of God going forth every day, seven days a week at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with my ministry, La Lock Ministry, which is under the leadership of my pastor, Pastor Jimmy Griffith. Praise the Lord. And you can do so by dialing in at 
773-922-8270. Again, the number is 773-922-8270. Praise be to God. And, and if it is the Lord's will, I'll be back in the morning again, reading chapter 11 in the book of Genesis. Praise the Lord. God bless y'all.